everybody, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations with Chaos Counseling. Begin, Shimbasham. February 9th, 3.43 a.m., Hotty Clinic, Intensive Care Unit. Oh my gosh, don't <laughs> add that to it. Oh. That was great. <laughs> oh no. I'm still up at this hour, reading through the trial record of a certain case. It's the first case my mentor, Mia, ever handled in a court of law. Oh, P.S. We have to play that case again. I'm kidding. <laughs> it's time to start it up again. <laughs> the horrifying truth that I refuse to accept is holding me hostage here within its pages. Sup, bitches? Dahlia Hawthorne. <laughs> what I've read, I don't want to believe. <laughs> I broke free. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> what is written here? This wasn't the Dahlia I knew. After falling into the Eel River, I was somehow miraculously saved. But I ended up catching a cold that seemed to knock me around the world and back. I feel dizzy. My ears are ringing, my throat burns, and my head is on fire. Sorry, buddy. But I will recover. I have to recover by this afternoon. I have to meet with the most ill-tempered witness imaginable. But I know that he will be able to help me. Somehow. Hi. Welcome back, Shib Sham. Beep 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 Three beam! Disky bridge! Right. Are you sure you're well enough to be doing this? You still look a little green in the face. Or maybe Viridian. In artist speak. You've learned, Gupshu. Good job. Actually, my fever has gone down quite a bit. How's your temperature now? Only 102.3 oh, degrees. No, nothing to worry about. Why is it blasphemy, you idiot? <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> anyway, I read today's trial record. You weren't bad, Ed Edgeworth. Pretty impressive, despite the circumstances. Actually, it's not to Darrell, but I heard recently that there's, like, a new finding on fevers. Mm -hmm. And how, like, a little fever is actually okay because it's supposed to be helping your body get into a suitable environment to help fight off mm -hmm. whatever you're being infected by. High fevers definitely can help! Yeah, yep. no, it's, Any, it's... Anything, like, above a 103, I think. It, it's it's just the, the school system soul in me that's, like, children, even if it's their temperatures are rising to help them fight this they should not be at school mm. with temperatures that high like that that is definitely be, high especially since they are small children yeah they need to be lying down and getting better and not be going to school with a headache from this fever and trying to do schoolwork as long as it's kind of suck i think the thing is like you if you have a fever but if you feel like you're totally fine yeah that's different then you yeah. should totally go about your work but, but if you have a fever and you're suffering from it rest yeah because there's just a really bad flu going through the school so i'm just mad at yeah. parents who keep sending their sick kids and it's like stop it yeah sorry just had to throw that interesting tidbit that i learned uh this week we're not in the clear yet the main point of contention tomorrow is going to be the murder weapon. Yeah. In the end, the chi chi to chi 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 to. I keep botching the chi part, but anyway, did not deliver the deadly blow, which means there must be another sword hiding out there that we don't know about. Sorry, when did we another establish sword, that that huh? wasn't the murder weapon? I think um, I it wouldn't have pulled out smoothly, yeah. or. Like, it wouldn't have, like, because of how little blood there is on it, yeah. mm -hmm. there's no way that it could have. Oh, yeah, and Bikini saw that she was pulling out, putting in or pulling out the sword from the hilt. Like, it was up in the body to the hilt. But the mm -hmm. blood remaining on it was, like, at the very tip. Yeah, so, so it's like, that did shit. It, it's inconsistent. You don't worry about anything, pal. I'll take up the murder weapon myself, or I'll eat my coat. Oh, I thought you'd do that already with how little money you get. <laughs> Thanks again, Edgeworth. <laughs> I'll handle things from Ignore here. Ignore gumshoe. <laughs> that is probably for the best. Actually, I was thinking about paying the old precinct a little visit. There's something I want to look into. And that is? Our client's background, naturally. You mean Iris, sir? I have a feeling that we've met before. All I want is confirmation. One way or the other. One way. And, 
Or another. And since I probably won't be getting that from you... <laughs> I'm sorry, Edgeworth. I bid you adieu, right? Take care. Don't jump in the river again, you dumbass. Guess I should get moving, too. Why? Do you need to be somewhere? Yeah, I've got to get to work on the bridge, Belle. I'm rigging something up so we could get across to the other side. Oh, that's right. Maya is still stuck over, stuck over at the inner temple. But don't you worry, Belle. As soon as it's all said, you'll be the first to know. Thank you, Gabshu. That works, too. <laughs> That's better than the coffin. <laughs> no, no problem, pal. Just try not to give me that cough of yours, okay? I have to work. Because <laughs> I have no money. Anyway, I'm off. Hang in there, Maya. We'll get you out. I promise. But in the meantime, I've got to continue collecting evidence. Mm. Well, bye, burnt bridge. February 9th, Hazakura Temple, Main Gate. Oh. Oh, well, who's, is this, uh... It's very. Oh. oh, come on, please. It was for art's sake, I swear. And there's only one uh, guy I know who could be this persistent and high strung. I'm talking about the heroine here. The heroine in my book. I'll make you famous. Ugh. Enough! A fool's fool, fool's fools who has foolishly accepted the foolishness of a fool's fool! <laughs> I love saying how many fools can be fit in a sentence. It's amazing. The English language is garbage. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's such a good... Love it. Wouldn't you agree? Phoenix, right? No one agrees with you in general uh, principle. But wait a second. I, I know you. You're, um... Ah! Your reflexes and mine need to shape up! My brain's frying like a sunny side up and you want to grill me over a name? Yes. Frenzy, you can't do that. Even as we speak, Nick's on the brink of death. Or so I'm told. Vip a dead horse! <laughs> Isn't that one of your American sayings? <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, it's not. I'm not on the brink of anything. Oh, come on, Nick. Tell her, would you? She must model for my picture book. <laughs> <laughs> Read it. Read the title. Do it. Let me laugh, woman. <laughs> Don't you deny me that, you, psy <laughs> you psycho bitch. <laughs> oh, Frenzy's Whiplash Splash. Simple and Magnificent, a Yay. Castlevania story. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> you love that book. Before you ask me to model, learn to give at least semi-coherent testimony. And be oh, yeah. and before that, you'll have to learn how to live a semi-coherent life, Larry. I don't care what anyone says. I'm telling the truth. I saw what I saw. She flew. I'm telling you, whoosh, just like that dude with the red underwear. Captain Superman <laughs> pants. Captain Underpants? <laughs> For some reason, I, that was the first thing that came to mind. I'm sorry. Captain yes. Underpants wears white underwear. I know, but for some reason, my brain was like, red cape, red underwear. Just that. <laughs> that thing. I sorry. I think I'm going to forgive you guys when you come in crawling back to apologize. Oh, goodbye. Off he goes. Phoenix Wright, it's been a year since we last met. A pleasure to see you again. Hi. 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 <laughs> Have you been in Germany all this time? That's right. Extending my perfect VIN record, naturally. Oh, Joy. Sounds like she hasn't changed a bit. Has it really been a year since we first met? Yeah. I am Franziska von Karma, the prodigy. I see. I gave up a promising career in Germany and came to this country for one sole reason. Revenge. Francisca was born and raised in Germany and became a prosecutor at the age of 13. Her father was a legendary prosecutor, Manfred von Karma. Now he's dead. He had a perfect win record for 40 long years, but now he's gone from this world. 
Don't tell me you still hold a grudge against me because of what happened to your father. Phoenix Wright, you will fall before me. This I promise. But it will be for my sake, not my father's. Are we clear? Yes, Crystal. In truth, I was shocked. I came back to America with the intention of defeating you. Instead, it was my little brother who was leading the defense. He's older than you. It's little a, it's, brother. It's a fun little gag they've been doing. I have a complex. <laughs> Edgeworth. Come to think of it. Edgeworth was pulled into being a prosecutor by Manfred von Karma as well. Miles Edgeworth told me something very interesting, you know. He said this case has a special significance to you. Because it does. And that's precisely why I am here. Your personal involvement will make crushing you into teensy wincy pieces all the better! It's probably the fever, but... She's so openly hostile that it's almost kind of cute. Aww, ah. ship. No smirking! <laughs> no whipping the sick! The foolish fool doing such a foolish favor for such a foolishly foolish fool! Edgeworth. Make no mistake, Phoenix Wright! I came here for one thing, and one thing only. To pulverize you. It's not like I thought you were here to bring me some cold killer X, you know. Oh, I do have some in my pocket, but it's not for you! <laughs> <laughs> I went over the whole case file for the f oh, on the flight over. You read the whole thing? Yes, every last word of every last sentence of every last paragraph. All the ridiculous things you did, it did made it a very interesting read, you know. Attempting to cross a burning bridge? Did you even consider the dangers? No. The only thought in my mind was, I have to get across. A fool who doesn't think is more foolish than a fool who foolishly thinks. Um, she said he'd let me know when the bridge was repaired. I, uh, she's got to be okay. I just know it. Plus, I need to ask her about what really happened at the Inner Temple that night. It's kind of great that, like, most of the conversations we've had with Francisca in the past usually end up with her being like, I will defeat you! Ha <laughs> ha! And then she goes away. This time, it's like, I will defeat you! Let's sit and have more conversations. <laughs> it's like, I, I'm willing to listen this time. I've calmed my teeth a bit. <laughs> February 9th, Hazakur Temple, Main Hall. That was one long sigh. Um, Sister Bikini? More, more, more! I didn't know you were here! How are you doing? <laughs> um, you don't have to pretend to be in a good mood for my sake. I suppose I made a terrible mess of things here the day. I like Mystic Elise, too, and the Zyrus as well. Mystic Elise? Now that I think about it, hmm. There's an egg load stuck at the inner temple, and the poor little girl has gone missing too. That little girl? Y you don't mean pearls, do you? Yes, I'm afraid I do. She's been seen since the morning after the incident. Pearls, she's missing? Why didn't someone tell me about this earlier? You were kind of dying. And it's not good for your stress. By the way, I know you're recovering. Pearls is missing. Pearls is... <laughs> <laughs> he dies. Immediately. I'm old. I think I've seriously lost faith in myself. I love Bikini. It's okay, sweetheart. Are you talking about your performance at the trial today? You believe me, do you? I'm not a liar. I would never lie. I knew what he see you. I saw Iris pull out sword from Mr. Gleese's booty that night. I'm certain of it. At least I was until this morning. Booty. <laughs> booty. I don't see any psyche locks, so she must be telling the truth. Um, so why are you so unsure of yourself all of a sudden? You knew that artist who testified after me? Oh, I saw Iris flying with her white hood fluttering. Oh, 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 oh. He won't let me do it. He's shaking my chair in protest. 
Okay. I'm so sorry. Uh, <laughs> I can't do the thing. I felt like I might start flying myself. I'm not looking at the bike. <laughs> I'm not even looking at the bike, he's doing shake about your head anyway. <laughs> when I see the main teeth device so fervently about something so impossible. I don't know why I turned it to Regina. <laughs> <laughs> I started to wonder if I had acted just like him when he was in the Whedon stand. I wouldn't take that guy too seriously. He's an artist, but all he draws is trouble. And nothing else. <laughs> Both Bikini and Larry are telling the truth. And that can only mean one thing. They both didn't see what they think they saw. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the night of the incident, you met Iris at the Inner Temple. Is that correct? Let's read. I'm sure it was Iris. But Iris claims she was in her room in Hasakura Temple. I knew we shouldn't have come back here last night. But because you did, Maya is stuck at the inner temple. Mm, so sorry. The dress and the place are nothing to shake and stick at. What do you especially bad? I'll bet. The training hall looks like it's going to fall down any second. Eagle Maiden has always been prone to earthquakes, just so you knew. But <laughs> earthquakes? Hello, let me just give you more stress. You're welcome. Yes, I wouldn't be surprised if the next big one levels the training hall. We've got to get Maya out of there. Fast. It's to you, there's really no need to worry. That I in the side of the bridge is isolated like an island. It's like an island? How so? Well, the only thing on that side of the temp on the bridge is the inner temple. No one lives with you, and it's surrendered on all sides by the river or the forest. I, I see. So criminal will be trapped should they choose to flee in that direction. And as long as the bridge is out of commission, Yes, she would love to stay there. That means Maya could be stuck out there with a murderer and no way to escape either. Yes, I suppose it is. Uh, please, Gumshoe, get that bridge up faster. I'm going as fast as I can. I'm curious about a few things, if you don't mind answering some questions. Do you need to know my measurements for you? Do you see anything? Bless you, Bikini, but no. No, no, no. <laughs> I want to know a little more about the victim, Ms. Elise Donham. I'm afraid I don't know who we say. What's with the matter? No, no. I'm wondering why she came to stay in a place like this to begin with. I mean, she told us herself that she wasn't here for spiritual training. Me, me, me. You make it sound like this place is some sort of dumb mystery. Ms. Elise was here to soak up the natural beauty of Eagle Mountain, if you miss new. There. He did it again. Sister Bikini. I notice you always refer to Ms. Donim as Mystic Elise. Ew. Yes. Now why is that? After all, she's not here as an acolyte. But we treat all the visitors as mystic. It makes your experience feel authentic. And anyway, she's older than me. You must respect your elders, you knew. How do you know that? How can you say for sure that she's older than you? <gasps> bikini, no! Bikini, bikini, oh, bikini, oh, bikini! Bikini! How dare! Huh. Seems me so Elise Donan was no ordinary visitor after all. And there's pearls. She was with Miss Donan on the evening of the murder, and now she's vanished. It's all got to be connected somehow. With glue! <sighs> well... That's an episode. Alrighty, we will okay. finish talking to Bikini next time. Bikini wa, bikini wa, bikini wa, bikini wa.